Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. We are learning about the Vue.js complete course. In the previous video, we have seen about the slots concept. So up to now, we have entered completely completed the slots concept. Now in this video, we will learn about the dynamic components. What is this dynamic component? Okay. So dynamic components are nothing but what we can say is loading the component dynamically. Okay, so without loading the tag, for example, if you want anything hobbies component means or uh, load the hobbies component means you will be you will be adding hobbies tag open the tag and close it up hobbies. The same scenario if you want any if you want to write any other component, you will be writing like that, right? Now without mentioning the things, how we can how without mentioning the tags of that particular component name, how we can dynamically load the component. Let's try to see in this video. Okay, before continuing to this video, as usual, what I will be telling is. Please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Okay, if you are coming first time. If you are not subscribed, and if you are watching the course, means please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that I will get motivation and I will try to post more and more new 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 features and also the new concepts in the UJS. What are the front end development courses you have? Okay. Now coming to this video, what I can tell is I have created a new project. Okay, View three hyphen dynamic components. If you want this is all the source code this is all source code is available in my github if you want you can check my github github.com i have posted in the uh, what i can say in my description below description for every for every video of that particular repository so uh, for every video i will be posting the uh, project okay i will be posting the code so here you will be able to see whatever the video code you want to refer you can go to that particular branch you will be having each and every video uh, source code you will be having so video 25 video 23 video 22 for every video you will be able to find the source code here if you want you can go to the particular branch and you can take the clone or you can download this code and you can see the output of that one okay so this is the thing uh, what i can tell you now now if you are now this video is about i think it is about 41th video i think if you have 41th video means i will create a branch here video iphone 41 you can go there and you can take the source code okay now what i will try to do is so here uh, let me create two components okay so first one is active hobbies active hobbies dot view and another one is the inactive hobbies inactive hobbies dot view here these are the two components and here what i will try to do is so here i will remove this all the code and here also i can remove i will remove hello world and also the component also I will try to remove and in this template and uh, uh, first of all let's go here and let's write the template here and here I will be having do active hobbies okay so I am not displaying the hobbies just I am telling you that is the component which shows active hobbies and here is the script and here is export default okay so this is the and the same scenario I can copy this one I can paste it here. I can write inactive hobbies. Okay, so these are the two components. Now you, I want to use this component in the app.view. What I can do here? I can do import active hobbies from slash components. Okay, active hobbies dot view. And here I can name active hobbies. In the same scenario, I can use something like inactive hobbies. And here I will be having in active hobbies dot view. These are the two components. Now I can declare this one in the components, and also I can here this one in active component. Now here I want to display means what I can do. Here I can open the do tag here. I can open the do tag, and I can write here active hobbies, active hobbies, and another one is the inactive hobbies. Okay. So these are the two two components what we have created and we have you we are using it in the app dot let's go and see the output okay now if i see try to see the output it is saying what is the error fail to compile dynamic source something blah 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 it is saying okay fine let's go here let's stop this one and if it doesn't know just we'll start it again okay for the timing let's see the relative module was not loaded act to hobbies act to hobbies is not there it is saying why what is the reason act to hobbies dot okay everything is correct let's try to see it again let's compile it and we'll see 
still we are getting the same error what is the error just will try to read relative module is not found active uh, active hobbies dot u is not found it is saying so we can go to the active hobbies here nothing is there in the inactive hobbies also nothing is there no i think the problem resides in active app dot u only in active hobbies imported from yeah see here this could be the problem i think so if i run it again so i think it will it could run it will show you without any problem yeah now if i see i am able to see the active hobbies and inactive hobbies this one now what i will try to do is so let me close this one and here let me write in a h2 tag okay so that it will be very uh, dark to very big font it will be uh, easily to for us to see and here also i will write as an h2 and these are the two active and inactive so okay fine now what i will try to do is i don't want to show both the components here okay so i will try to add two links here in app dot view here i will go i will add two button okay active hobbies and in the same scenario inactive bodies and at the rate click is equal to on active selected and in the same scenario here also at the rate click is equal to on inactive selected okay on active selected components and here i can write methods on active selected here what i will try to do is i will try to create a data and here what i will try to do is i will try to return and here i will write selected component sorry selected component is equal to active hobbies okay the first one will be the active hobbies i am writing and when the user selects this active component what i will try to do is i will try to make this dot okay try to understand this one so i am making this one as active hobbies and here the same scenario i can copy oh sorry i can copy this one and i can paste it on inactive selected right on inactive selected i can make this one as inactive hobbies now how could we write here the condition here we can write vi if and if is equal to just i am reading some elaborately so that we will understand the code selected component is equal to is equal to active hobbies right and here also what i can do here i can write this one inactive hobbies so these are the two hobbies uh, these are the conditions what how we can do so now if i go here and if i see okay what is the error we are getting again okay we are not keep we have not yet kept the comma here okay now if i try to check the output here i am able to see the two two things right active hobbies inactive hobbies inactive hobbies i am unable to see why because inactive hyphen hobbies okay inactive hyphen hobbies right that is the right right now what i will try to do here i will try to check the output if i refresh this one I am able to see only the active hobbies. Now, if I click inactive, inactive hobbies, I active, inactive, active, inactive. So, I am able to see these ones. But if you see the code here, so we have written so much of code. We are using this active hobbies, inactive hobbies, and we have written with the VIFNIF condition. So, instead of writing this all the code here and all those things, we can write in a simpler way. That is nothing but dynamic component. Component, component, here I can write is and the name of the component which you want to load. Act, sorry. So we have already kept in the selected component right and we can use like this instead of using these all the things automatically we can write here component is what is the component i want to know i want to load so the name what is the component name you are having the tag name so you can add this as a tag tag thing into the variable so that you can use that variable here is so the variable whichever the component is there so the component will be loaded automatically so this is the dynamic components in the vue.js if you try to see the output you are able to see the active inactive active inactive active inactive see and now another thing i want to show you is so for example in the inactive i have an input element okay input type is equal to text i have an input element now if i try to see the output here okay now if i try to refresh this one
Now in active hobbies, I have written that Leela web dev or something like this. Okay. Just I want to check that whether uh, I want to check and go into the night hobbies and I want to get back here. So in active hobbies, I went here and I get back to the active hobbies. See, the text box is empty, but I have written in the text box that Leela web dev as in the as a value in the text box. So now it is not there. Why? Because means so whenever you click on this button, we are using VIF and if right. Uh, the component dynamic components component is is there right the component is completely destroys the previous active component and it it will uh, re-render this uh, inactive inactive component okay when you go back to this active active hobbies that active hobby again will be re-rendered so that is the reason input text box is not there so if you want to retain these all the values of the of the previous uh, component means what you need to do is for this dynamic components only you need to remember this component is for these things only if you want to retain the data what you need to do is you need to add an extra tag that is nothing but keep hyphen allow okay so keep hyphen allow means automatically the component will be cached and it will be used so now if i try to go here and if i try to write something here and if i go to inactive and if i come here see the value will be retained okay this one will be very useful when you don't want to destroy the component when you go from somewhere and if you want to come back again means this key pair component uh, tag will be very useful for you. Okay. So, this is about the dynamic components in the Vue.js. So, instead of using all the components, we can just use component is and we can give the component name so that the component will be automatically loaded. Okay. And the key pair means the component will be cached, the destroyed components will be cached there. This is about the dynamic components. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, Please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.